and welcome back to all kind of games. Today we are playing Temple Run 2 where we have new outfit for our Queen Astrid's Fell Walkie outfit. Uh, so we also have perks in the games. There are several choices but today we will play and show you the Panic Swings. So we are ready uh, and we will run of course in the Halloween map in Halloween event. Today is November 1st and it will last for several weeks. The Spooky Summit Halloween Special Mission in Temple Run 2 with well, walk you out with the newest character in the game. Uh, so the version of the Temple Run to Spooky Summit is 1.94, and this means that it's new Halloween event and the version for 2022 year, which started in October and it will last in the middle of the November. So it will be quite interesting, and we will have enough time to play and enjoy. We also have several outfits for the Halloween characters. Of course, we got. Uh, some skeletons, uh, we got some zombies, mummies, and of course, we will show you uh, the uh, selling colors, the astronaut, a uh, wolfman with all the outfits, and uh, guy dangerous with a uh, zombie guy outfit. So, all these amazing videos will be uploaded within this Halloween event and within this new version of Temple Run 2. Uh, so, we also played today a second new game, it's uh, Minion Rush, where we have Spooky party. So in all games, I'll say that there are Halloween events because of it's Halloween, and it will last about uh, one or even uh, two weeks. So uh, we will offer and we will play and uh, show you all Halloween events in each Endless Runner games which we are playing uh, so far. Uh, okay, now today we will, uh, as always, show the new character. You see that the Fallen Walker is new outfit for our Queen Astrid. Uh, but this character is very very hard to unlock because of it needed 120 red totems to collect. You see that we got uh, one from five and it's a uh, just for three minutes we are running and we got only one. So can you imagine 120 red totems required about three days to collect and unlock this new character. But uh, the interesting future in the game, uh, you know that the game is 10 years old but we are getting some updates adders and some DLCs like the uh, new futures. Uh, so we have the Panic Swings and other futures, the perks which we showed you in the beginning of the video. So, uh, oh my god, this is our favorite place, the poisonous hazardous river in the Spooky Summit Halloween map. So right after we escape this area, I'm gonna show you the Panic Swings and I'm explaining how do they work. So Panic Swings are like the uh, unlimited time shield but when you crash and when you fail, you will get first free or a while. And this is one of the best and most wanted features in the game. So it's not necessary to revive the character. So I'm gonna just tap on it and show you how it works. You see that we got the shield, but it's activated our bonus and power up. And on the right side, you see that the counter shows us 50 seconds and we still have six more wings that means that uh, you see that our character has wings on its back oh it's so beautiful and so astonishing a oh, perfect animation we got so good wings on our back and this means that the first player while is ours within one minute so let me demonstrate how it works you know, because of i'm gonna show you other perks and today you know, we will uh, give some time for the uh, Panic Swings perk only. Uh, in upcoming videos, of course, we will show you uh, different Halloween characters and different Halloween pets. Now we have bats, you see that they are uh, flying and floating around five or six uh, bats. So in the next videos, we will show you uh, different pets. Uh, so you see that uh, the Panic Swings work itself, so it doesn't uh, need uh, to push on the uh, free revive or uh, anything else. Uh, once you activate it, the character when the uh, game is lost will get back to the run and it will keep running without asking you permission. But only after, if you activate it, we have six. So let's get one more activated and there will be five left. Uh, so we collected three totems and I think that in today's run, uh, collecting five of them will be enough because of its you know, like daily challenge. So each day you can get five of them at minimum to complete the daily challenge and the daily task. But you can collect them unlimited amount. For example, if you have 
uh, the character who is handling 20 totems, you can collect even 200 of them, uh, but you should uh, go back to the menu, unlock the character, and only after this, you will keep running and collecting the uh, totems. So sometimes we are collecting black, white, uh, yellow, green totems, uh, but when you have uh, the special missions, you will have only uh, one color of them. So in the next one, it will be changed, of course. So now we have shields. Uh, and we of course activated the panic swing, but the time is expiring, so only 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 seconds left. And you see that they disappeared, and this means that right after the shield expires, our character will fall down and it will uh, not revive himself. So now with the rail card, oh my god, this is our favorite location because of its spooky summit Halloween map in the temple round 2. Uh, so the new character, which is already recorded, uh, has two more outfits, uh, but we have some more Halloween uh, creatures, which I already told you, and we will make some comparisons between the games, for example, uh, Skeleton from Minion Rush vs Skeleton from Temple Run, and so on and so on, so uh, expect our new videos, guys, thanks for watching, and have a nice time, see you tomorrow, bye bye.